okay so first introductory part so uh, most of the student from uh, uh, diploma course so i think you have seen this uh, uh, differential part in the diploma course as well okay differential equation uh, what is the derivative what is the differential equation okay uh, and uh, you have seen the linear differential equation ordinary differential equation the equation of first degree and uh, uh, first order okay uh, those who have come from 12 standard so they have also known about this uh, they have also idea about the differential equation so just we just take a quick review of the differential equation and then we'll just start our content okay so what is the differential equation any guesses differential equation what is the differential equation okay so first of all what is derivative okay differential coefficient the equation which contain differential coefficient dependent variable and independent variable is called as what differential equation the equation which contain which contains differential coefficient dependent variable and independent variable is called differential equation okay this is called as a differential equation so see uh, actually what is the differential coefficient here okay so uh, dependent variable independent variable and differential coefficient what is this differential coefficient okay so we know that what is the velocity velocity means what velocity means change in displacement with respect to time am i right it's ds, ds by dt where this s is what s is nothing but displacement okay and what is this t t is nothing but time change in displacement with respect to time so as the uh, see uh, basically first if a strain is at station okay time is zero so as strain uh, as strain start time will also increase okay so at t is equal to one means after one minute the distance of a train from the station will increase after two minutes after one hour after uh, 30 minutes so as time increases the displacement also increases okay so there is a change in displacement with respect to time and that is called as a velocity so this is see what is this ds by dt rate of change of s with respect to t this is what this is dependent okay so this is dependent displacement is what dependent and time is independent this is not depend on anything okay so s is dependent variable t is independent variable what it, what does it mean it means what change of dependent variable with respect to what with respect to independent variable okay and this is what our differential coefficient simply okay if you if you just uh, just try to understand what is the meaning of acceleration it is nothing but change in velocity with respect to time so here v is dependent and t is independent likewise if we take this if we take the function y is equal to fx so consider y is equal to fx if this is our function okay now here the value of y is depend on x am i right okay so the value of y is depend on x so for example suppose if we take y is equal to x square plus 2 so for x is equal to 0 what is the value of y it is 2 for x is equal to 1 what is the value of y it is 3 and so on so value of y is depend on x so therefore what if we take this derivative of y with respect to x what i get so this dy by dx is equal to so what is this dy by dx so this is you see y is depend dependent and what is x x is independent x is not depend on y okay so but y is depend on x 
that's it so because value of y is depend on the value of x as x changes y also changes okay so that is the part actually here so this is called as a differential coefficient this is dy by dx is nothing but what our differential coefficient dy by dx is differential coefficient okay it is called as a differential coefficient here y is what y is dependent dependent variable okay and what is x x is called independent variable that's it okay so this is about the uh, this is how uh, actually the derivative works okay how the differentiation works and what is the differential coefficient what is in my dependent variable and what is in the independent variable i think you have got the concept what uh, of these three things differential coefficient dependent variable and independent variable okay so now if you have the idea of these three things you can easily understand what is in the differential equation so see what is the definition of differential equation so it says that so the equation which contains differential coefficient <coughs> dependent variable and independent variable is called as a differential equation see the example of differential equation what is the example of differential equation uh, it is d square y by dx square plus 2 into dy by dx plus 3y this is equal to 0 so this is a differential equation see here differential coefficient this is dy by dx or d square y by dx square second order derivative is also valid this is also a differential coefficient okay so these are the differential coefficient now y is dependent okay and x is what independent everything is here okay so what we want we want dependent variable independent variable and differential coefficient and if it is there that equation is called as what differential equation got it what is in my equation any cases this is very basic thing differential you have got but what is in the equation <clears throat> anybody anybody have any idea about the differential uh, equation what is in my equation okay, just just uh, uh, make your involvement okay so this is the two way process this is not a one way process just reply if you have the uh, answer if you don't have the answer if you have a clue for the answer then also you you can reply okay so no problem if your answer is wrong uh, we don't have any problem okay at least you are trying to give the answer you are trying to finding the uh, solution okay so just try to reply so just uh, don't watch and don't just on the video that just don't uh, try to just uh, uh, on the lecture and uh, do your work at home okay just don't do it so whatever the one hour two hour whatever the session we have just try to attend seriously so that you can understand it properly otherwise you are not understand these things okay so what is my equation i will give you the two expression two mathematical expression and uh, tell me which one of this is expression okay uh, equation um, so 2x plus 3 equal to 4 and x plus 1 less than 3. Which one is equation and which one is not? Tell me. First one is equation. And what about second? It is not equation. And if it is not y, what is the reason? Let's try to find out the reason behind this. Okay, and what about second? Yes, this is this is the linear equation. This is linear equation. Linear inequation. Okay, and this is equation linear means what the degree of x is 1 okay if it is 2 then we can call it as quadratic this is a linear equation okay so see the value of x plus 1 is strictly less than 3 
though if it is equal to then strict, uh, still it is not equation okay x plus 1 is strictly less than 3 that's why it is not it is called as what it is called as a linear inequation this is not an equation we are not interested in this type of equation here uh, this type of uh, expressions here we are interested in this type of expression okay this is equation I uh, hope you have got the uh, concept of equation because each and every basic concept is important to understand the mathematics. Okay. Uh, now let us come to the example. So this is d square y by dx square plus 2 dy by dx uh, plus 3y equal to 0 is an differential equation. So this is the first example. Second example dy by dx plus 4y this is equal to 0. This is also an equation. Okay. This is differential equation d cube y by dx cube plus 3 d y by d square y by dx square plus 4 d y by dx plus 5 y this is equal to 0 this is also a differential equation because all these three equations contains differential coefficient dependent variable and independent variable also okay so hope you have got this is there any doubt in the definition of differential equation okay uh, I think you have um, got this. If you have a doubt, you can ask. Okay. So after this, uh, what is important to understand the linear differential equation, nth order linear differential. Actually, our topic is nth order linear differential equation. But here we are just starting from uh, basic. Okay. So after understanding, uh, after getting this concept of differential equation, we are now going to discuss what is the order and degree of the differential equation. Okay. So once if you understand. Uh, order and de degree of the equation then you can easily understand what is by nth order linear differential equation okay also we will just uh, see what is by linear differential equation okay so uh, one one word to word meaning we will discuss so that you can understand so first of all what is the order and degree of the equation order and degree of differential equation if you know anybody knows this about order and degree so you can just please uh, explain okay so we'll we'll hear you okay uh, so any any idea about the order and degree what is the order and what is the degree of the differential equation <clears throat> what is in the order of differential equation order is nothing but what the highest power of okay so the uh, highest order of whatever the highest order derivative term in the equation that is nothing but what order of the differential equation okay for example suppose see this is third example what is the highest order derivative term see this is the first order derivative term this is a second order derivative term. This is a third order derivative term. Now, highest order is 3, and that's why this order of this equation is nothing but 3. Got it? So, order of highest order derivative term in the equation is nothing but the order of the differential equation. Got it? So, order of highest order derivative term. in differential equation is called order of differential equation got it so order of highest order derivative term in the differential equation is called as the order of differential equation see in this example highest order derivative whatever the example you have just find out the highest order derivative term in that equation and that will be the order of the differential equation likewise is in the example 3 so this 3 is the highest order derivative term that's for order is 3 now what is in the second example see in the second example only one differential term is there only one derivative term is there its order is 1 so therefore it, the order of this equation is nothing but 1 okay and now what is in the first question see first uh, first example so this this is the first order derivative term this is a second order derivative term and therefore this is the highest order derivative term therefore order is nothing but what two got it is there any doubt in the order okay so just try to just please reply if you haven't understand you can ask uh, 
okay i think uh, if there is no reply i, I can just assume that you can uh, understand that okay so what is in the degree what is in the degree of the equation c yes very good the power of highest order derivative term okay see what you have to do just whatever the term you are considering to find out the order of the differential equation just take the power of that term okay that will be the degree of the differential equation the highest power or the power of highest order derivative term power or index okay so the power i will ex explain with the example power or index of highest order derivative term in equation is called order sorry degree of the differential equation okay so one thing you just keep in mind uh, but that is not the part uh, uh, in this course actually okay so uh, while finding the degree of the equation you just just uh, just take care whether the equation is free from radical sign or not if the equation is not free from radical sign just try to free it from radical sign radical sign means what square root rest to 3 by 2 cube root like this these are the radical signs if these radical signs are there just try to remove that radical sign so if square root is there then just take a square on both sides so that that square root get removed okay it it doesn't affect on the order of the differential equation but it affect on the degree of the equation okay so your equation should be free from radical sign equation should be free from radical sign okay so then and then uh, that uh, you will get the proper degree of the equation okay so let us see the example so what is the definition of degree the power of in power or index of the uh, highest order derivative term in the equation is called as the degree of the differential equation see what is the highest order derivative term this is d cube y by dx cube and what is the power of this term what is the index of this term this is the highest order derivative term and the power of this term is nothing but 1 okay so same here the power of this term this is the highest order derivative term and its power is 1 okay and same here its power is 1 so therefore in each and every example here degree is 1 okay so here also degree is 1 here also degree is 1 it is not happening every time actually okay so you have some another examples so so that degrees are different so let us see this example uh, d cube y by dx cube bracket square plus 2 dy by dx rest to 4 plus 3y this is equal to 0 so let let me know about the order and degree so any cases for order and degree what is order what is the order of this equation? So check what is the highest order derivative term. So this is the first order derivative term. This is the second. This is the third. Four. Order is four. Okay. See, this is not a four. A four is actually the power of this term. I haven't tried here d raised to four y by dx raised to four. Got it? This is not the first fourth order derivative term. Okay. See, see, this is dy by dx and its power is 4 okay so these two things are different try to understand dy by dx raised to 4 is not equal to d raised to 4 y by dx raised to 4 got it you understand okay so this is what this is the power so this is the first order derivative term Okay, this is the third order derivative term. So, therefore, highest order is 3. Therefore, order is nothing but 3. Order of the equation is 3. Got it? Okay. So, now for degree of the equation, whatever the term we have considered to find out the order, just try to find its power. Okay. So, though here, see, though here the power is 4, 
but this is not the highest order derivative term this is not the highest order derivative this is first order derivative term so don't consider this 4 as a degree okay so highest order derivative term is dq y by dx q and its power is 2 therefore your degree is nothing but what got it any doubt yes okay i think you have uh, got this so let us see the second example just try to find out the order let me know how you have understand uh, whether you have understand or not um, d square y by dx square plus 3 uh, dy by dx rest to 2 plus y this is equal to 0 what is the order and what is the degree of this equation what is order what is degree what is the order of this equation try it fast what is the highest order derivative term Yes, any cases? Let's try to reply. This is the first order derivative term. This is the second order derivative term. So, therefore, order is nothing but 2. And degree is what? Degree is the power of highest order derivative term. This is the first order derivative term. Its power is 2, but this is not the degree. We have taken the order from this term and therefore consider its power. Its power is 1, therefore degree is 1. Okay, so that's it. This is about the order and degree of the differential equation. So, hope you have understand what is the order and degree, what is the basic about the differential equation and that we want. Okay, so what is the linear differential e equation? What is the linear differential equation? Okay, so linear differential equation means what? The equation having order one sorry having degree one so those have degree one it is called as a linear differential equation okay so see all these three are linear differential equation so linear differential equation these all are linear because their degrees are one okay so the equation which has degree one is called as a linear differential equation note that equation having degree 1 whatever the order we are not interested in the order okay we are interested in the degree so the equation having degree 1 is called linear differential equation Okay, so it is called as a linear differential equation and if the order is 1 then it is called as a ordinary differential equation ordinary differential equation if order is 1 okay see here this is ordinary differential equation second it is ordinary ordinary differential equation this is a second order linear differential equation so this is sorry this is a third order linear differential equation this is a second order linear differential equation we will discuss that in the next uh, uh, slide okay so that's it about the basic hope you have got this okay and from this with this understanding uh, of the differential equation order and degree whatever that we have discussed okay we'll just try to uh, discuss what is mean by uh, linear differential equation what is my nth order linear differential equation so let us see this definition uh, of the nth order linear differential equation now here it is nth order linear differential equation ld with constant coefficient this is the name of unit okay nth order linear differential equation with constant coefficient so see the general form of the nth order linear differential equation with constant coefficient is given by so the general form is given by what is the general form okay see it is a naught b raised to n y by dx raised to n plus 
a1 d raised to n minus 1 y by d raised to n minus uh, dx raised to n minus 1 plus a2 d raised to n minus 2 y by dx raised to n minus 2 plus plus up to a and y this is equal to x this is the general form of nth order linear differential equation where where a naught a1 a2 up to a n are all constants and x is what it is a function of x see in previous uh, page i have written zero on the right hand side every time but it may not be zero okay it may be some function there may be a some for some function of x or constant okay so that that's why i have written this is a function of x or it may be a constant okay so this is a general form and why it is important there may be a question in your online exam related to this objective question okay so what is the nth order linear differential equation what is the general form of nth order linear differential equation with constant coefficient see the meaning of each and every one nth order see this is d raised to n y by dx raised to n so order of this equation is n in general so that's why nth order linear means degree is one okay see the power of highest order derivative term is one here okay the power of one power is one therefore linear with constant coefficient see a naught a1 a2 up to a n all are constant so these are the coefficients of each and every term and they are constant so that's why it is called as a nth order linear differential equation with constant coefficient call it as equation number one hope you have got this equation is there any doubt have you got this definition this is important so but see every time it is very uh, irritating to write this uh, big equation okay so we just trying to reduce this equation to the simplest form so how we just reduce this equation to the simplest form so we just use the operator d here so what is the operator d okay so what is operator d here operator d okay now so just take d is equal to d by dx in one okay just replace d by dx by capital d what happens c okay so we have a naught now d raised to n y by dx raised to n it means what see this is d raised to n into y because see we have d raised to n y by dx raised to n okay and we are replacing this d by dx by what capital d so automatically it become what d raised to n so this is nothing but d raised to n into y got it so every in each and every step we just have to just uh, do the same replacement okay second in the second step plus a2 d raised to n minus 1 into y plus in the third step sorry this is a1 not a2 this is a1 then a2 b raised to n minus 2 into y plus plus up to a n y this is equal to i just take this as fx function of x okay now what happens see y is there in each and every term so what i get here a naught d raised to n plus a1 d raised to n minus 1 plus a2 d raised to n minus 2 plus plus up to a n into y i just take this y common f of x and what is this so if you see what is this bracket this bracket is nothing but polynomial in d see if we have x square plus 2x plus 3 we just call it as fx or we can take this as phi x this these are just the notations okay phi psi f g these are the notations to denote the functions or polynomial okay so as we have taken already f here we just take the different uh just parameter instead of f okay now what is here is 
this is nothing but what polynomial in d this is a polynomial in d and we can write this as phi of d this is equal phi of d into y this is equal to f of x and this called as what where call it as equation number two where phi of d is equal to what a naught d raised to n plus a1 d raised to n minus 1 plus a2 d raised to n minus 2 plus plus up to a n is called is a polynomial in d okay this is a polynomial in d and what is this equation to it is called as what equation 2 is called as nth order LDE in the form of operator D. Isn't it? Okay, so this is called as a nth order LDE in the form of operator D. Okay, so that this is the definition of nth order linear differential equation. Hope you have got this. Is there any doubt in this definition and basic part? You can ask. Okay, see if, if we have this equation, so like this, see, uh, we have written this equation. So how we can write this equation? For example, let me take it here in the form of operator D. So the example is, suppose if I take d cube y by dx cube, plus 3 dy by d, d square y by dx square plus 4 dy by dx this is equal to e raised to x how we can write this equation in the form of operator d see this d means what d means d by dx okay so this this uh, can be written as d cube y plus 3 d square y plus 4 dy okay so this is equal to e raised to x and we can take y common so what i get inside the bracket here so this is d cube plus 3 d square plus 4 into y sorry 4 d is there into y this is equal to e raised to x so the meaning of these two are same okay so in the exam uh, the equation may be like this or like this. Okay, if it is like this, you have to convert this in, into this form. Okay, uh, so to get the solution or to find the solution. Okay, so that's it about the basic part of this. Okay, uh, I think I hope you have understand.